Hello, today I would like to show you how to build a memory of one bit using a D flip-flop and the multiplexer. I will take the D flip-flop from here, add the D flip-flop and then we can go to plexers and choose the multiplexer. I will connect the output of the multiplexer to the data input and then we have to add a few inputs and output outputs to the circuit. First input is the input, input itself to say so input bit then I have to put the input control bit of the multiplexer up because this is how I am used is not mandatory in any way then I will add an input bit for uh, the load I will change its orientation it will go s look south I will do like this change to uh, uh, load bit then I will have to add an output bit and uh, change the orientation connect it to here and then I have to add a clock to feed the clock of um, to feed the clock of the D flip flop this one in here and if you s hover over uh, this pin it should show clock state updates on the trigger so this is the clock where the input of the clock I will have to change its orientation also so this is connected and then I will go like this and connect it in here and uh, which is the idea? the idea is that while lo the load bit is zero whatever is emitted in this area it will be feed into, into the multiplexer and because of the load bit is zero it will uh, go again and again it's a loop, a closed loop and it will go into uh, the D flip flop again and again and the input bit it will not ta be taken into account whatever values it has zero or one if the load bit is one for a cycle then uh, it will take whatever value is into the input bit and uh, be it will be fed into the D flip flop which will start emitting it and then it will go back to the multiplexer and uh, we have a closed loop with whatever value has been uh, feeded in in our case one let's activate the circuit we go in here the clock doesn't change we have to go to simulate auto tick enabled and now the circuit is working and let's see if I go if I change the bit nothing happens because the load bit is zero so I'll put it like this and then change the load bit to 1 and it doesn't work because I did a mistake I think this bit should be output and not input as such I will go back I will go in here and in here and output and let's change also the label output bit 
let's go back to here and see what is going on so okay now I have one my load bit is zero I change it to zero and what does it mean that by making it zero I'm closing the loop and the D flip flop is uh, is um, how can I say feed it continuously with whatever is emitting uh, is emitting so one is f uh, one is emitted but is also fed into the multiplexer and then I have one in here if I change the input bit to zero it doesn't matter because it will always take through this multiplexer at the entry zero now if I want to uh, change the value and effectively the value is stored into the D flip flop uh, by using this closed loop if I want to put the value zero to store in this one bit memory the value of zero I have to make the input bit zero and change the load bit to one in order to feed the D flip flop with one with with the whatever comes from the one entry and there is a time delay because of the clock it's a delay and now the value of zero is stored in the D flip flop and zero is emitted and put it back into the multiplexer and now we have a loop which emits and feeds itself with zero and again if I change the entry with whatever value I wish it will not have an effect so this is a one bit memory which can be combined into a register of 16 bits and those registers that register can be used to create bigger and bigger and bigger memories thank you for your attention and uh, have a nice week